Nobody likes deforestation, except for the people who are in like lumber and lumberjacking and lumber technology. They're pretty much into deforestation. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Planet Zoo, where I'm doing the most important thing I could possibly do in Dave's awesome zoo, which is making sure all of my tortoises are on contraception. I will be damned if I'm going to have one more tortoise on this property. Now I see, and somebody pointed this out in comments, I see I've got one left in the trade center. It looks like I didn't move one of the tortoises. I need to go find my tortoise habitat. And by habitat, I mean I've crammed them all into one tiny, tiny, tiny area and hoping it's all going to work out. Yep, just a whole bunch of tortoises here. Whole, whole bunch of tortoises. Now, can I get, please, my last tortoise out of here and into here. So I've been rather fussy about the tortoises since, well, basically day one, episode one of Planet Zoo. And I was very, very curious many times as to why I can't get rid of these guys. They just cannot be sold. Apparently, tortoises have to be kind of wicked old before you can sell them. I'm told in comments they have to be 25 years old before they can be sold. You apparently are 122 years old. Hold on here. I'm not reading that wrong, right? 122.5 years old. 100 and look, I'll put a little thing over it. There. 122.5 years old. For realsies. How can I not? Are you too old at this point? How old are you? 37. Okay, you. You I can release to the wild. You're out. Okay, so I can get rid of maybe one or two of these guys. Anyone else? Uh, how old are you? You're 116! 116 years old! Nobody will take you! Now, I definitely get it. It looks like most of them in here are juveniles. So there's my 122-year-old one. You're 57. I can get rid of you. Okay, you're out. Great. I'll actually turn the game on so these critters get out of here and bring the new one in. Yeah, I do see most of them are juveniles. I get that. They're baby tortoises that I can't stand. How are we doing in general? Is this place way too small for you? Like, how are you guys doing? Um, you seem to be broadly happy. Like, give me one of you. Yeah, 122 years old. You're an outsider, but you're integrating. Probably just because I kicked some of your friends out. You're basically fine. You're basically fine. Probably your size. Oh, hard shelter. Yeah, I kind of thought we might get into that. So let's do a little bit more on the hard shelter thing. Now, of course, this is going to reduce navigable area, but I'm going to kind of vaguely cope with that information if I can. So let's put you maybe over here. Let's make sure the tortoises need to walk a really, really long way to take a nap. We'll put you like there. Okay. And then give me some bedding over here. What are you for? You're for small, medium tortoises seem to be medium-sized. Okay, that should take care of them for a little bit anyway. Oh, an animal died. Who? Oh, one of my skunks. Oh, my sand kitty. Everyone's dying. I've lost two skunks and a sand kitty. Yeah, sir. Oh, yeah, sir. You're so cost-effective. I love you guys. You cost me virtually nothing. How many sand kitties do I have left? Just the one. Yeah, I've got Sophia here, who is, um, by the way, hungry. Let's get a keeper assigned over there. All right, let's get... Uh, sorry, you are female? Yeah, you're female. Let's see if I could actually think about this one day. Think about this one. One of your problems is overbreeding. Do you really want another sand kitty or two around here? And the answer is yes, I want all the sand kitties. Oh, perfect. I've got Umer here, male sand kitty. We're going to grab you and we're going to send you over there. Okay. You, however, yep, you can go away now. Thank you. You, however, we are going to put on contraceptive because we don't want you um, having any more sand kitties because you get all fighty. Uh, what have we got for an educational item placed too far away? Really, that one. You can't see the tortoises from there? Okay, I'll, I'll move it. I'm pretty sure you can see plenty of tortoises. For, oh, because you're not anywhere near the tortoises because that's the old capybara one. Right, you are correct about that. Let me swing over to Tortoise Town over here somewhere, down here. And we'll put this up over here. No reason to waste it. In fact, this is a great spot right, right over here. That brings me to another thing that came up in comments. There it is, the Conservation Education Board. This is the thing everyone's telling me I gotta put up. Now see, I'm, go I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and justify this. When I heard Conservation Board, I thought something like this. 
This to me, out of the corner of my eye, it looks like a speaker. It doesn't look like a board. See, that, that, that I would not have thought it looked like that. That looks like a speaker to me. This is how I'm justifying my complete ineptitude to see this for like 27 episodes. So why don't we put this somewhere? Where's like where a lot of people are? Probably down by the... Oh, here's a good spot. There's a lot of... And, it, and there's power here too. Does this have like a front and a back kind of thing? There we go. Yeah, there's power here. There's a bunch of people walking by. So let's put this guy right here. Now, what is it you do exactly? Um, replace your image. Educational content. Amphibian extinction. I've got some more dead animals. Bee population. Okay, yeah, let's talk about bees. Okay, okay, who died? Who died? Oh, vet research and habitat clan. Is this the capybaras again? If this is the cap... Is, oh, is it the elephants? Who lives here? What is the problem here? What's going on? Oh, it's Neosuburbia. Okay, yeah, because I have 14 raccoons. I don't need 14 raccoons. Also, apparently that was all of my skunks that died there. All of my skunks just died. Okay, yeah, let's... um. Let's take out, like, a, a whole bunch of raccoons. My secondary project, because we're on this path of, like, reducing the size of the enclosures and making them more realistic and therefore easier to pay for, is Neosuburbia. I love Neosuburbia, but it's a gigantic enclosure that is costing me, I would imagine, quite a bit of money. And I'll get a keeper over there real quick to clean up the raccoon poop. Now I need some more skunks in here. And now this, this board probably talked about skunks. Okay, hang on. Can you just pause it for two seconds here, Planet Zoo? I have a lot of things on my plate today, and buying skunks was not one of them. All right, give me a male, and give me... Okay, how, how could I do this so maybe I have an appropriate amount of skunks without having a zillion skunks? Show me your Zoopedia for a second. Let's actually be reasonably sensible about this nonsense and find out how many of you want to live here. One to two. So really not a lot of skunks. I think we've got to re-examine Neo-Suburbia as much as it galls me to do that. I love what I put together in Neo-Suburbia. But two skunks in that gigantic enclosure is frankly a little silly, even for me. Oh no, we lost Giant Kitty too. Oh Genji. Oh, I love Giant Kitty. Giant Kitty is almost, almost, it's just like a really quick runner-up to Sand Kitty. It's Sand Kitty and then Giant Kitty. Hashtag Giant Kitty. Right underneath that. Well, now I've got to get another Clouded Leopard. Oh, good news. They've got one in stock, and I've got plenty of Magic Leaf Points to pay for it. So send you over here. If you could get the new kitty in before the dead kitty's out, I won't have to reset the boards. I really appreciate that. Okay, okay. I gotta rethink my plan for the day here. Because that's how I come into Planet Zoo. And I've been, I've been recording this for almost, almost a year now. So when I come in, I've got a plan of what I'm going to accomplish. And, you know, between recordings, I kind of think about what my next plan is. Now I've got to rethink my plan because my nagging doubt that Neo-Suburbia is a complete waste of time and money is slowly bubbling to the surface. But before I do that, I want to finish what we were doing last time, which is taking the mega enclosure and breaking it down into three smaller enclosures that we've done over here. So we've got ostriches over here. We've got whatever it is I put over here, over here. What did I, what did I put in here? Oh, you're a rhino. I think I've got another one of you. Oh, that reminds me, another comment that came in because we had a, a problem with space over here. And somebody had said, you know, as usual, let the game run for a couple of seconds. It'll figure itself out. You're actually probably fine to put your other white rhino back in here. It's the buffaloes. I've got to unpack the buffaloes at some point. Yeah, i got to get those out of there. Not, maybe not top priority on that one. So what have I got? One male and one female. All right, let's see if we can get this rhino in here without any major complications. No, second they're in the door, we've got low welfare. Okay. Uh, where, where are you, Chief? Show, show me where you're at. Yeah, you've already got low welfare in here. Okay, we may have to do one rhino at a time. These are not rhinos. These are otters. Get it right, Planet Zoo. Now, the scarab beetles are hungry. That's not a phrase I thought I was going to say when I woke up this morning. At no point did I think that was going to happen. Let's get a keeper over there. Uh, what else? We've got the raccoon. I just got a vet over to that raccoon. And I think... Oh, another diseased animal. Why are you all... Well, you're raccoons. You're kind of 
prone to disease. I've been told that's not true. I've been told raccoons are very, very clean animals. Um, I would counter, come see the ones who were rifling through my rotten garbage and see how clean they are. Okay, the rhino thing may have sorted itself out. The rhinos seem to be fine right now. We've got the, the mom and the and the juvenile here, and they seem to be okay with everything. Um, where are you guys, by the way? Like, show me your things. Yeah, you're fine. You're 98%. You're a little thirsty. Why are you... Why are you thirsty? Did I not... Did I do something incredibly, like, more dumb than usual and not put up a water pipe in here? That would be really, really awful of me. All right, well, I'm going to put one down here uh, for there. Now, do you guys... Can you guys use that? Or do you need, like, a water source? Okay, you know what I'm going to try to do? The, the giraffes are going to inbreed. Yeah, they love doing that. It's like their hobby. I'm going to try and get this through till morning. So not only can I see what I'm doing, but you guys can see what I'm doing. And hopefully there'll be no major crises between now and then. Nothing horrible happened overnight except for the Babarusas are inbreeding. I don't think these guys can use this. I think this is... I think they need the water bowl rather than the the pipe i don't think i don't think they can figure out how to use that so i'm gonna give them a water bowl right here because i must have put in water right no i actually didn't put in water now what i could put in is a small water feature because we've got a water treatment over there i'm like 36 percent confident if i put in a small water feature right here Maybe they can drink from that. And go ahead and, and smooth that out, because you love smoothing stuff. It's like your thing, man. Uh, also, move... No, no, make all of this go away. Well, okay, one thing at a time here. Grab this and move this somewhere else, because it looks very, very silly there. So put that, like, sink that down into the earth there, and then go... Yeah, I don't care about your tickets being overpriced. They're not. They're simply not. They're actually the cheapest they've been in a very, very long time. Put that in there. Oh, that's a little bit too much. No, take that out. Put that more like this. How about, can we go up one more? No, it goes to there or there. I don't, I'm not crazy about that. No, because that's going to really wreck their navigable area. I'll just put something small down like that. Just a dirty little puddle. How are the penguins doing? I haven't checked in on you guys in ages. Boy, there's a bunch of you now. Boy, there sure are a lot of penguins around here. They seem fine. I, they, they, they like to live in a big group. Yeah, they're 98% welfare. How are you doing over here? 98% welfare. Yeah, these guys are doing just fine. Is anyone taking advantage of my underwater tunnel? No, of course they're not. You know I did a whole episode about this, right, guys? You know you know, this was like a focus of an entire thing, was creating this. No, Nobody wants to go down there, even after I put the little vista point down there. Okay, let's see if I can get back to work here. Um, what What is your problem? Oh, the alligators are about to inbreed. Yeah, that's probably a bad idea, because we end up with like a ton of alligators. Why don't you not do that in the future? I know you're doing it now, but try to not do that in the future. Another thing that came up in comments was maybe reduce the amount of glass in your enclosures, because that apparently costs a lot of money. Just kind of keep it to only the areas that are going to be visible to the viewers, the guests. Now, see, a problem, like, problem here is that this entire thing is visible to the viewers, so I don't want to do anything there. But I'll see if I can pick those off as we go along. What was I... What was I doing? I need to do a quick check on the ostriches here. Yeah, they're fine. They're totally fine. Okay. it's I know it's not a particularly exciting enclosure here. It's basically just a flat patch of land. But we're trying to be cost-effective here. Uh, where was I going before I was so rudely interrupted by myself? Okay, so another big culprit is Habitat 10. What is Habitat 10? That's the sea lions. I can't really do much with that. While I'm here, by the way, let's call a mechanic into that. And Habitat 21. What is Habitat 21? Uh, who are you and what's your deal? Is that the otters? No, you are... Who are you? What's your thing? Oh, it is the otters. Okay. Not a whole lot I can do with that one either. That's kind of... It is what it is. You know what, though? I could change some of this barrier because this whole area over here, nobody sees anything. Yeah, I could definitely... I could definitely work a little bit with this barrier. This does not need to look like this. Uh, do otters climb? I don't know the answer to that question, so I'm going to assume that they do. And I'll use... Oh, I meant to do more of that. I'll use the uh, the gabion, gabion, whatever that is, to move all of this over here, because nobody is going to see anything on this side. Now, this side, I definitely want to keep glass. Up here, we'll keep that glass. Maybe over here? 
It doesn't actually need to be glass. Probably from like here on could not be glass. And how are the otters while I'm in the neighborhood? Uh, hard shelter is an issue. That probably just means there's way too many of you. I can shave out some otters. Oh, barrier status. Hang on, hang on. Get a mechanic over there fairly quickly if you could. Uh, yeah, I've got 11 otters. I probably don't need 11. I think we could get rid of a few of you, and that will probably solve a lot of your hard shelter issues. Uh, none of you are juveniles, so all of you can go. Habitat cleanliness again. Okay, um, store these guys, and I'm going to see if I can actually make some money on them rather than trading them for magic leaf points. Uh, habitat Is this the capybaras again? Oh, it's, I think that's the elephants. Yeah, that's the elephants. They do poop a lot. And I should finally check in on research here. All right, we've done wolverine and brown snake technology. I can probably get the brown snakes a little bit happier uh, with their environment, if I can remember where they are. I'm pretty sure they're over... Yeah, they're over by the penguins. i got to look for the wren fest over here. You're brown snakes, as I recall. Can I get you some more layout stuff? Oh, totally can. You can have large rock A. Oh, God, what is it now? Why are you? Why do you hate these things so much? Why? I'm sorry you hate it. I really do. I don't hate it. I do hate the pop-up. I just want the pop-up to go away. That's all. That's the, my only request is make the pop-up go away. Okay, slam it into pause mode while it's daylight for a sec. I'm going to have to critically rethink Neo-Suburbia. I think. There's a lot of small animals living in there in a huge giant enclosure. Can I see? Okay, so it actually, weirdly, it doesn't cost me that much money. This is not my top priority. I, I would have thought it would. Who is, apart from the ones we just looked at, who are other contenders in terms of like who could get shaved down here? So give me running costs here. All right, I know I can't do anything with these guys because that's the sea lions and the otters and I kind of need both of those. Who is... Habitat 1. Is that my sun bear? I think that's my sun... No, it's the elephants. Okay. Yeah, I could see why those would cost me a bit. Um, P.S., by the way, Habitat 15. Could we get a mechanic over there? I've got more than a few warthogs. i got to get rid of some of these guys. Let's get rid of you and get rid of you. Store you guys. Again, I'm going to see if I can make some money on you. Yeah, I can make 10k for four otters. Absolutely do that. Yep, confirm that, please. Yeah, I've got, I've got a zillion magic leaf points. I have almost 40,000 magic leaf points. I don't need any more magic leaf points anytime in the near future. And if I know, if I need them, I know where to get them. Only 166 bucks for a couple of warthogs? Uh, the otters are cuter. You're not wrong about that. Okay, okay. That takes care of many of the issues I wanted to take care of. And now, well, I'm going to do something I don't want to do. And you guys know I don't want to do it. I've said many times I don't want to do it. You guys want me to do it. Because you guys hate my employees. You're just, I don't know, some sort of vitriolic capitalists filling my comment section. Saying, fire the lot of them! Get rid of them! They're costing you way too much money! Again, I assume you do it with that sort of accent, because that's the sort of accent you'd do that with if you were firing a bunch of people and you were kind of mean, but I'm going to go have a look at my staff. Now, my thought process is that higher quality people are going to do their job better and faster, and I still hold to that. That's Otherwise, there's no reason to promote these people. There's no reason to promote them at all, except that they are going to get better at their jobs. Each one of these five-star keepers is costing me thirty, or excuse me, three thousand. Four-star costs me five hundred dollars less. Okay, how much does a two-star cost me? Yeah, so I could be shaving off a lot of. I'm aware of this. It's just I do. I know this sounds weird, but I do actually want my animals to be well cared for. Um, I know it's all about the money with me, but I do actually want them to be well cared for. If You know what? If only from a purely mercenary point of view, if they're well cared for, the guests are going to enjoy their experience more, and they'll give us more money. But these guys are costing me a lot of money. So who is... I'm going to take anyone who's not in a work zone. So I'm going to fire five five-star keepers. Okay? Five five-star keepers are getting fired. And then... Yeah, no, all of you. Uh, sorry, I meant all of you. Not not just one of you. Thank you. All right. All of you are fired. And then I'm going to rehire two one-star keepers. So you and you. 
I am very well aware that I need to go through and redo all of my work zones and indeed do more work zones. I, I totally get that. Uh, work zones are incredibly tedious and boring, so I'm not jumping all over those right now. I might do that one off screen. I might just take an hour or so by myself and just redo all of the work zones and get people assigned because I honestly don't think that's going to be hugely entertaining to anyone, you or me. I feel like I forgot about a board or something. Oh, skunks. Skunks. I know there's a skunk board that I didn't activate somewhere after we lost the last skunk. Where, where, Where is skunk info? This has got to be one of them right here. So you... Tell people, uh, sure, about rhinos? There are no rhinos in the area. There are pandas in the area. That, that part is... Did we lose all our skunks again? Okay, well, tell people about raccoons then. Tell them about something, for God's sakes. Hey, you know what? While you're here, why don't you put up... Because there's a good corner over here where people head towards the pandas. This would be a good spot for one of them education... Not the education, the conservation ones. The things that I've missed this entire time. It looks like a speaker. And you can tell people about uh, deforestation. Sure. Nobody likes deforestation. Except for the people who are in, like, lumber and lumberjacking and lumber technology. They're pretty much into deforestation. Take the forest away. Replace it with wooden beams. Well, we've lost a porcupine, but that's kind of okay, actually. We've got... Yeah, we've got porcupines. We're, we're fine. on. We've got five porcupines. It's actually probably more than we need. Uh, Latif and Zaid, why don't you go to the Trade Center? We'll see if anyone wants to buy a porcupine. What I'd like to do is, and by the way, make sure, yeah, we've got a vet heading over there at some point. What I'd like to do is set up, I think I'm going to sit on the buffaloes in storage for a while. I'll put them back at some point, but maybe not right at this exact second. I'd like to take the sort of third slot here. Because I can see, get three encounters here, and then I can put three around the backside and work with a smaller and hopefully very cheap animal. Now, can't even get to that. The alligators are having issues here. All right. Um, I wonder how much people would pay me for an alligator. How much would you guys pay me for an alligator? So let's get rid of a few of you. Yeah, there's there's just too many of you in here. Um, how many more adults do I have? I have one female and one male. That'll do me fine. That's fine. Send you guys to the Trade Center um, while it's the middle of the night anyway, and I have nothing else to be looking at. So, animal trading. Okay, what can we do here? How about those porcupines? Can we get rid of them? Yeah, 2700 for a porcupine. Okay, I didn't actually see when I started playing Planet Zoo that I was going to be an underground animal dealer. Uh, but here we are. Now, I can't, oh, I don't know. Hang on. I don't want to get rid of the buffaloes. I want to get rid of the alligators. it has got to be somebody willing to pay for an alligator. Not you, though. Okay, I can trade you out. So, Fargo, 1400 bucks for Fargo. What's your deal? Is this like the tortoise thing where you have to be a specific age? I don't immediately see why I can't get rid of you. Okay. Then I, can I release you? I, and, and, you know, if I can't do anything with you, I'll release you and at least get the magic leaf points. Can I get rid of you? You I can get rid of. 2200 bucks for you. Okay, we're completely redoing animal, animal stuff right now. Planet Zoo is now going to become underground black market alligator dealer. Because I think I'm just going to overbreed these things and sell them. It's probably the tortoise thing. Probably the alligator needs to be a specific age before it can be traded away. This is the spot I'm looking at right here. Something small is what I'd like to see in here. And on that, while we're waiting for it to be daylight, I could kind of take a look at what I might want to buy. I mean, I was having to think about aardvarks. Those are fairly tiny in the grand scheme of animals anyway. So aardvarks, remember aardvarks, everybody. We've done dogs. Actually, you know, now that I say wild dogs, hang on, I have not checked on the wild dogs in a very, very long time. For all I know, we're completely out of wild dogs. Uh, you guys are over near the giraffe somewhere, right? Yeah, down in here. Here we go. Okay, so how many African wild... Oh, I've got four. Okay, what's your problem? You're infertile and you're infertile. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. There's no problem with you guys being infertile. I'm going to call a keeper over there just because I happen to be clicking on your barrier. Uh, I've done the thing where not all of this is glass. I already kind of covered that. Okay, back to shopping. Now, I'm going to go ahead and guess that an Arctic wolf wants to live in a big pack because they're kind of the type, aren't they? Two to eight. Okay, so I could have a big bachelor group. Hmm. 
interesting. And two to eight is not that many. It's not that many. Like, what sort of environment do you want? Oh, you need a big area, though. Wow. 1162 square meters for one of you? Oh, yeah, no, that ain't gonna cut it, Chief. No, we're off We're off the, the Snow Wolf or whatever it was there. We're back to Aardvark. Everybody remember Aardvark. You know what I could squeeze in nice and easy? Prairie dogs. Those things are wicked tiny. I've seen those on nature channels. They're really, really small. 2 to 12. Okay, but only two males. Two male bachelor group. Females will live together just fine. So I could have 2 to 12 females. How many How many do you have for sale right now? Uh, then where is that? So what, what did I just say to myself? Oh yeah, prairie dogs. Talk to me about prairie dogs. You've got three females right now and one male. Huh. Interesting. Do I want to... Well, I do want to breed them because I'm an underground animal market now. You need an animal? I got you covered. I wonder, is, I know I'm, I'm probably looking right at it. I've, I've been doing this for almost 50 episodes, though, and I still haven't seen it. Um, I want to see what, like, their appeal is. Like, are, oh, by the way, are you, do you have any friends? Skunks! Oh, hang on. Hang on. I could solve two problems in one shot. Actually, my problem isn't even really a problem, because I'm still out of skunks. I still have no skunks. But good to know I could put prairie dogs in with... I got, I got to think, I'm just, I'm feeling prairie dog. So 180 square meters, which is nothing. If I had three of you, you barely need more than that. You only need grade two boundary. And this was, again, pointed out to me in the comments because the comment section on Planet Zoo is awesome. You guys are great. Um, here is where I see what the minimum height needs to be. So actually quite a bit. 3.9... Oh, square feet. Wait. We've been metric this whole time, Planet Zoo. We've been metric the entire time. And now you're putting me into Imperial. I know what 3.96 feet looks like. I get that. Where has that been this entire time? How have you been metric for everything but this? Planet Zoo, you are, you are a harsh mistress sometimes. Okay, so four feet of grade two boundary. What I was looking at is do you guys climb? I mean, obviously, that's, that's, that's the height I need, but can you climb over stuff? You don't need any climbable area. You don't need any water. You don't need any deep water. You are a snap to deal with. Can I find out if you climb? Size, life expectancy. They're neutral with humans, so I don't need to be too fussy about um, them getting nervous or shy. Guests can enter habitat. I don't know how to do that, though. I've messed around a little tiny bit with that in my own time. But not to the extent where it actually, you know, worked. Okay, don't, don't sweat that bit right now. And then you would get along with skunks. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's things we don't know about prairie dogs. Yeah, there's a lot of things I don't know about prairie dogs. Oh, there are things I haven't learned, though. So there's something here that prairie dogs are wicked into that I don't know about. That's kind of fun. I wonder if I've got that with, like, the Wolverine. I should check on the Wolverine. Okay, you know what? We're getting prairie dogs. I'm going to get the three females because they will all live together in peace and harmony, and I won't make any more prairie dogs. I, I know I want to sell all of my animals, but I'm just looking at a prairie dog. All right, I'm looking at this picture of a prairie dog, this male prairie dog and the three female prairie dogs, and I'm looking at these, these portraits here. I'm going to have 57 prairie dogs in 48 hours. I just see how this is going down. They have that look where there's going to be 800 prairie dogs in no time. So for right now, I am just going to buy the three females. And we're going to start to put together prairie dog town. So you didn't even need much. You just needed like four feet of grade two, which is nothing at all. So how about this is grade two right here. I know they're they're not actually shy. But I'm going to go ahead and give them one-way glass anyway, just in case. I mean, why not? So that's two meters. Now i got to figure out, is two meters four feet? So one meter... I don't do the metric system. One of, one of the greatest days in American history is when we all stood up as a nation, together, united, like never before and never again, united 
the United States has just said no to the metric system. It was in the 70s. We tried it. We didn't like it. We said, no, thank you. No, thank you. You can keep that. We're going to go with Imperial. Thank you very much. All right. It was a beautiful day. Probably the greatest day in American history. Whole country. All of us just said, no, thank you to the metric system. So one meter is like kind of like a yard and a yard is three feet. So two meters is way more than I need for prairie dogs, like way more than I need. <sighs> okay. How about we bring this whole thing down? I'm going to say about like, that's, I'm going to, I'm going to have to Google this. Hang on. I got to go Google what 1.7 meters is. Okay. Allegedly that is 5.5 feet. So still actually quite a bit bigger than I need. I'm going to drop that down just a little bit like that. That's, that's probably fine. Okay. So let's start to make prairie dog town here. This could go, this seems very low to the ground. I mean, like I feel the prairie dogs are just busting right out of here, but Hey, what the heck do I know about prairie dogs? Um, nobody's probably going to be over on this side looking at that. Although there is a path, they could theoretically do it. All right, why don't we change this over? I don't know if they climb. Well, you know what? If there's a whole bunch of prairie dogs out, then I know they climb. I'm going to keep it here because I want to be able to put another habitat on the other side of this. So let's do this like this. This is probably a bit more space than they actually need, but... Hey, what the heck? Uh, we can bring this all the way down here. And then let's go back to the two-way or the one-way glass, rather. And just in case there are people over here, they could be, you know, checking out a prairie dog or two. Bring that down to here and then over to here and then link up there. Okay. Yeah, that's got it. That's way more space than they actually need. Let's put in a gate. Actually, just give me the wooden gate. I always use the glass gate. I'm never really sure why. Could we put this maybe over here? So, like, I gotta get, like, maximum guest viewing area. Put that like that, and then I'll move that donation bin. Oh, have I... Oh, I already did it. Never mind, Dave, it's fine. So move that donation bin maybe, uh, maybe over by the conservation board here. One of two that I have. Uh, oh, that's not even a conservation board, Dave. It's, a, it's an ATM, which is admittedly probably far more important. You know what? While you're thinking about it, everyone's been saying conservation boards. You finally found them. Let's go ahead and use them. What are we going to tell people about with this one? What, what are my other options here? Ecotourism, climate change, land sharing versus land sparing, poaching. Poaching, because that's basically what I'm into now, except it's sort of reverse poaching. Instead of going out in the wild and getting an animal, I'm making them here and then selling them off to people. I'm like the world's best poacher. All right, let's get things moving a little tiny bit here because otherwise, well, nothing's going to happen. So show me my my prairie dogs here. Prairie dog, prairie dog, prairie dog. Send you guys over to here. And then when you get there, I'll start to figure out your nonsense as I always do. Now, I got to guess that you guys are into those burrows. You've got to be a burrow kind of creature here. So actually take away tortoises because we hate them and show me only things that prairie dogs are into. Yeah, no surprise. I, I thought, oh, hang on, hang on. The, the rhinos are about to interbreed. No, guys, that's like, no, not cool. Not cool. I don't need any more rhinos. Sorry, don't don't be doing that. It's, it's too late now, but don't be doing that. Uh, the inspector has left. I'm actually curious what the report is. Oh, I've, I've made it go away. What is what is your report, sir? Actually, pretty much the same as last time. Five stars on all of our habitats, but our uh, our guests are at a C level. A C level. Hey, you know what? A C still passes the class. I've lost the prairie dogs. Where where did I put where did I put prairie dog town? Yeah, too late on the rhinos. They're expecting offspring. Okay, I'll cope with that information when it becomes more available. There we go. I found them. Okay. So yeah, you guys have got to be wicked into these burrows. Ooh, ooh. Speaking of which, I should do, I should do a dome in here. I should totally do a dome in here. Hang on. Slam this into pause mode because those things are fidgety. Yeah, perfect. Right in here, we can get in a dome and obviously you need a dome gate or a dome entrance, whatever you call it. Uh, that could live actually kind of right here would be fine. Yeah, go ahead and put the dome entrance over there. Okay, back to Red Hot Prairie Dog technology here. So go back to this. Yep, only things that prairie dogs are into. I knew you guys would be a burrow kind of thing. I got to remember, or at least try to remember, to set up the webcam thing so people can be in a very creepy way checking these guys out while they sleep. Now, other things that we need. Clearly, a tennis ball. 
obviously. And you guys would not mind having the bubble machine, and I think that's kind of fun. What do you mean, obstructed? Obstructed by what? I don't know, put it over there. No, what do you mean, obstructed? There we go, I can have one over there. Oh, those domes are such a pain sometimes. Um, I was actually more thinking about, like, food. I think food is fun. So you get, oh, wait a minute. A feeding platform? I didn't think you guys climbed. I specifically looked at you and you said you did not need any climbable area. Is it just sort of optional with you? Because you're here. Let me find out what you're sad about right now. Um, so what, what, are, what, are, no, no, you're, you're the habitat. I want the actual thing. There we go. Your enrichment is terrible. Food enrichment. Yeah, that part I get. That part I understand. It doesn't say you have any issues with your area. Um, that's probably habitat cleanliness is probably the elephants again. They do poop a lot. So I'm going to give these guys the water bowl. I think we're going to go water bowl with you. And then, really, you can't, you can't have... All right, I, no, I don't want that. That's huge. I don't want this either, for that matter. This is also huge. Um, is, could it live somewhere over here? That would be really awesome if it could. I'm not sure... Am I supposed to be putting this... See, I feel I'm doing this wrong now. Am I supposed to be putting this up in the air? Because this seems to be their only option. But let's look at... Yeah, feeding stations. Arboreal. I didn't think you guys needed climbing area, but here we are. Um, have an herb scent marker. And food enrichment, I've only got the melon feeder, guys, so that's all you're going to have right now. Now, how about your terrain? Because I bet that's not real good right now, is it? Yeah, actually, it's fine. Oh, dear, it's fine. I don't actually have to do anything at all. You're, you're totally chill with everything I've put together here. Okay, um, how about some plants? North America and grassland. Ah, you could have a bunch of parched grass. This'll look fun. Ah, I'm gonna lose a Babarusa in a bit. Where is my nearest... Yeah, I got water treatment over here. Tickets are not overpriced! Just stop it with that nonsense. Tickets are not overpriced. All right, and by the way, could we get someone over here? I want to see that this is going to work. It says it's accessible. Item is accessible to all animals, and you have the correct animal there. So that is very, very promising, indeed. Okay, um... What else was I doing? Oh, yeah, plants. Let's put some buffalo grass around your little burrow here. Make it a little bit more private. And then... Well, geez, if I'm going to do reeds, I should probably do a water feature... I mean, that kind of makes sense. Actually, I could put some over here and really hope you guys don't climb out of here or even just glitch through this. Well, people ain't shy. They're coming right up and checking out the prairie dogs. I'll do the sign in like two seconds, uh, just not right at this exact second. So there we go. How about a couple of cypress trees right in the middle there? That's kind of fun. Maybe some... Oh, yeah, that looks good. Goldenrods right in there. There we go. Nice. Uh, that and that. Okay, this is beginning to come together. What do you look like? A fig tree. Um, yeah, I could kind of get down with that. It's not really what I want. No, that's that's not really... That one's okay. I'll take that one. And a rock. And I'll, I will obviously sink the rock into the earth because I'm all about sinking rocks and stacking them. In fact, I'm going to stack some rocks over here. Okay, let's get some fundamentals done here. So you are going to tell people about prairie dogs. There you go. And I've got a donation box over here. There are benches and bins everywhere. What if we did maybe get, go through the trees here? What if we did? Because there seems to be a lot of people hanging out right here. Let's do one of the, the speakers over here and we can yell at people about prairie dogs. Uh, no, not what, whatever, whatever is going on here is wrong. There we go. So the educational speaker right here. Oh, is that just out of reach of power? That would be most frustrating of you. Is that... No, Ed, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. It's good. It's good. Everything's good. Uh, so we're going to tell people about prairie dogs, and we're going to yell at them a little bit. Not much, because i got a lot of speakers around here. But yeah, yell at those guys about prairie dogs. Go, hey, prairie dogs! Prairie dogs right here! I'm just going to copy-paste a few of these over here, just to make this little area look, I don't know, slightly nicer than it is right now. And uh, give me... No, 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 go, go away. Give me one of these cypress trees here. We'll have another couple of these sort of here and here. There you go. Um, I have done the barrier backward. Yep, sure have. Now, as usual, I'm sure I'm doing something catastrophically wrong, but this one seems to refuse to change. Just do that. But it doesn't do it. I just want it to be regular old glass. We're not even going to worry 
about the one-way glass. Huh. It's a little weird. Okay, how about if I try to make it into, uh, say, this? Yeah, you're fine with that. Actually, are you fine with that? I don't think you did that. No. You're just refusing to, to change at all. Also, I've got like 8 trillion pop-ups up here. I should probably be attending to them. Uh, the raccoons are hungry and so are the beavers. Yeah, there's those one-star keepers right there. Dave, do your work zones. Yeah, I know. It's just they're really boring. All right, and we lost a porcupine, and we lost that Barbarossa over there. Uh, how many Barbarossas do I have these days? Uh, I've got six. Actually, I don't even need that many. Uh, why don't you go off to the Trade Center? And also, maybe like a couple of your friends could go off to the Trade Center. So you two uh, also go to the Trade Center. Thank you. I'll see if I can... Get a few bucks scavenged up for a Barbarossa or two. You know what else I don't need? This many elephants. Okay, so could we get maybe a couple of you guys out of here? Because you are... The, the poop is a little out of control. We're not going to lie about this. We're going to see if we can sell off an elephant or two. We've done vet research, which is fantastic. We've got high wolverine technology here, and we've maxed out the snakes. Great. Could you... I know about all my problems. Thank you. Could you move on to the prairie dogs, please. So, Gary, you look like a man who understands a prairie dog. Okay, let me just deal with a couple of things here. So, bring me back to my... Where, where's my Ren Fest here? Yeah, bring me back to my snake, because we should have your top-tier layout thing here. Let's make sure you are very comfortable. How about Fallen Tree B for the snake? Uh, what else was my, my issue? Oh, Wolverines. Wolverines. Uh, where did I put my Wolverine? You're down in here, right? No, no, that's my uh, that's my new Prairie Dogs. Wolverine over here. Wolverine, where 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 the Wolverine go? There we go. So we've got we've got some new stuff we might be able to put in here because we've maxed you out. So there's is there anything particular? Give me everything. Is there anything interesting about Wolverines? I don't see anything specifically new that I don't recall seeing before. What is that? The Skittle Feeder. Yep, we've seen that. We've seen that. I'm pretty sure I have. I definitely have a disco ball in there. There's no question of that. Well, I'm going to put in one of these blood scent markers because that seems like a Wolverine sort of thing to have. How are you doing, by the way? Are you? Uh, come here. Come over here. How are you? How are you doing, kid? Yeah, you're 98% welfare. You're a little hungry. I'll have one of our lower one-star keepers come over here and just sort of arbitrarily dump food on the ground because they're terrible at their job. Okay, what have I got in storage these days? So there's my Babarusas. Can I get rid of you? Yep, quick trade you. Uh, quick trade you. And quick trade you. Not a lot of money. But somebody is the proud possessor of three Babarusas right now. Yep, confirm that. Now, come on. You've got to be giving me some money for some elephants. These guys have got to be worth a fortune. 2500 I actually expected more. 8 k Eight and a half thousand for a couple of elephants. Absolutely confirm that, please. And I think the rest I'm kind of stuck with right now. Uh, yeah, can't get rid of you. And def actually, can I? No, can't get rid of you. Yeah, you're a juvenile. I should probably toss you back in the, the pen, let you grow up a little. I just want to go back to this piece of barrier because it's really weird. This one section doesn't seem to want to change into anything at all. It's trying. I'm probably just misclicking something. I'm, I'm sure I'm misclicking something. It's just a little weird. That one just does not seem to want to change at all. Is there anything else I need here? Actually, another... Could we shout at people? I want to shout at people here about, about the prairie dogs. I think that's a valuable thing to be yelling about. So put you right there and then find you. There you are. You're going to tell people about the prairie dogs a little bit louder if you could. Uh, we're actually screaming at the prairie dogs about prairie dogs and I'm pretty sure they're pretty comfortable with who they are and what their place is in the world. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Planet Zoo for today. Progress, not perfection. Although I do see the money is a little bit up right now. I'm going to go through the numbers again next time and see kind of how we're working out there. But the Prairie Dogs actually seem to be a pretty big draw. People are into this sort of thing, even though they're basically in their burrows the entire time. There's one crawling around there. But guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of Planet Zoo. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. But maybe we close the door during a zombie apocalypse, Cinnamon, huh?
It's just basic security technique. If the door is closed, cinnamon, cinnamon, the zombies are going to have to work harder to get in. What you've done is put up a big sign on the top of your roof here that says, Hey zombies, this way for food. All right, is there an actual fire or are you just telling me that fire is a thing that exists? Because I'm very familiar with that. Fire loves me and it wants to be near me at all times. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. I have created epic fruitcake. Those words have never been uttered in the entirety of human history. That sentence has never come together. I have made epic fruitcake.